Hello everybody. At this time when um, the coronavirus is uh, shaking us all to the core, I just want um, to check in with you all if you're doing okay. The support that you've given for me and my videos over the last decade or so has been overwhelming and I'm really grateful for that. I moved away from Chennai um, to Australia with family in 2015 and then undertook a PhD in, mu in music at the Queensland Conservatorium where I learned a lot of things. I learned how to make music with musicians from different cultures. I learned how to understand Carnatic music through a different lens and to understand other musics through a Carnatic lens. And so learning is, is always an exciting thing. And bringing this back into context, when we're all housebound during this time, as we're fighting um, the pandemic of, of coronavirus in our own way by containing and mitigating and just making sure our families are looked after and we are doing the right things to support them, the health and well-being, at this time, I'd like to invite you to think about the power of music and how what is designed as something to bring uh, people together in a hall through performance is now, um, now can be used to bring people together in a virtual world because it's important to stay together. It's important to feel supported. Um, and so from today onwards, every day, I'm going to be posting um, some information on music to keep you engaged and 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 occupied and and to make sure that you feel um, that, that that you're not alone because social distancing and isolation um, can be disconcerting. They can impact our physical and mental well-being. Um, so. If, if my contribution is going to be just touching base with you through music and through words once a day, I'd be happy to have achieved what I wanted to uh, at this time. Today, I just want to share a bit about the construction of Raga Alapana in Carnatic music. Very often we think that um, a Raga's grammar and prayoga are something that's very distanced from the kritis that we learn in a raga. Very often, as students of music, we are taught gitams, varnams, and kritis, and then the teacher progresses into the raga alapana, which is the manodharma sections where the creativity is is cultivated um, through practice and through consistent um, investment in in the syntax of the raga. I would like to propose that it is from the Kritis that Raga Alapana um, is, is born. Um, and, and this idea has, has uh, come forth not only um, in my mind but also in those of my gurus. I remember when learning from Kalkata K.S. Krishnamurti, um, he used to, when, when we used to sing Raga Alapana, when, when we used to start the class uh, by deciding okay today we are going to sing Todi then he would ask me to sing Kritis in Todi bits and pieces of it so Pallavi of say Jaisinadalla Anupallavi of Koluva Maragada Charanam from Sri Krishnam Bajamanasa and then we have a kaleidoscopic view of what Todi can be what Todi um, uh, was for Dikshatar, for Shama Shastri, for Tyagaraja, or for any composer, how did they see it? And from those um, elements of the phrasing or the musical form or the shape, we can derive and then delve into our own Manodharma. Because what is Manodharma? Manodharma is actually tapping into one's own subconscious that is actually cultivated by a conscious engagement with what is there around us in the world. So it's a question of 
really academically visiting it, I'd say it's a question of ontology. Our ways of being as artists. So as artists, we sing Kritis. We've been learning from our gurus. And I'm talking about the developmental phase of an artist. I'm not talking about a full-fledged, established performer yet. I'm talking about students of music here. How they can tap into their ontology, their, their ways of being, and then determine their ways of knowing, which, which is epistemology. The biggest question in education is how we connect ontologies and epistemologies. And... And, and these words, as, as daunting or as confronting as they may sound to someone who's listening to me, have philosophical grounding. Even in our Vedas and in our tradition of uh, Shruti Smriti, the ontology of being oral, just being with a guru, in front of a guru, listening, Shravana, Shruti and Smriti, thinking about it, memorizing it is so important in our tradition of Carnatic music and our and the and, and the tradition of the Vedas that really bring home to us the fact that listening is the key to things. With that message, I'd like to just share with you um, a, a take home activity. So if if but you're all sitting at home anyway at the moment, I suppose. So it's it's going to be like a, a, a probably a family activity around your dinner table, or probably a tea time activity with your siblings, or your, or or an online activity with communities that you're probably working with or cultivating online, would be to then think about um, say pick a raga, say pick kalyani or pick thori, and think about the various kritis that you know, and sing. Phrases from the from those kritis and have your friend or your um, collaborator respond to that with a phrase from another kriti that they may have um, found, and and then look look at the juxtapositions, match them up, see how they can sit in a raga alapana way, and then sing it as an alapana. You may wonder, okay, why has Incharu not sung even a bit? through this time it's it's just um it's a very odd time in the world and and today i i just feel like talking to you um but i'm going to give you this activity and i'm going to do this activity at home as well with my students and with my um with with my online um, com community of music lovers and with my family and tomorrow I will actually practically demonstrate uh, what came about when I um, used Kriti as a stepping stone to understanding Raga Lapana. But for today, this is a vlog from me. Stay safe and stay um, and and stay occupied um, and and look after yourself and your well-being and your family and. Do, do what you have to do to get through these uh, difficult times. Um, this is Charulata Mani signing off. Now, um, I'm Charulata Mani. I'm a Tamil. 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 அது ஏனா எல்லாருக்கும் புரியறதுக்கு ஒரு நம்மளோட குளோபல் கம்யூனிட்டிஸ்ல இங்கிலீஷ் மேக்ஸிமமா பேசப்படுற ஒரு மொழிங்கிறதுனால நான் இங்கிலீஷ்ல பேசியிருக்கேன் மறக்க மாட்டோம் நம்ம வீட்டில் பேசிட்டு இருக்கோம் இன்னும் குழந்தைகளோட அதனால இந்த மாதிரி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸும் போது ஒரு மிக்ஸ்டா இந்த மாதிரி பேசும்போது கூட நம்மளோட கல்ச்சர் வந்து இன்னும் கல்டிவேட் ஆகுது வித் தட் மெசேஜ் தேங்க்யூ சைனிங் ஆஃப் ஃபார் த டே அண்ட் ஐ நோ ஐ ஹேட் மென்ஷன் தட் எவ்ரி டே ஆர் பி போஸ்டிங் videos but i'm thinking that might be a bit too much so how about we make it every week we'll make it every week uh we'll make it um every thursday e every thursday because thursday is guru vara so let's let's look upon the the universe of music that's around us as as a teacher and just engage with with that um at this time Thank you. Namaskar.